Welcome to JMeter Tutorials. Today we are going to see how to run JMeter test plan in Jenkins. Okay. So what is a Jenkins actually? Jenkins means it is a continuous integration. So with the help of Jenkins, you can uh, run your uh, Selenium scripts, JMeter scripts, or any automation uh, script through the Jenkins without opening any tools. Okay. Now, see what are the steps we need to follow. Just see, you need to download a Jenkins. Okay, just uh, I have downloaded the Jenkins. Just go to here. Just download, click on enter, download Jenkins. Download Jenkins. Okay, see, first search only. First link. Just download Jenkins, okay? After downloading, it will uh, give you the var file. Var file, just uh, follow the some instruction it will give you and uh, it will successfully install your Jenkins, okay? Now, after installing, your uh, Jenkins will be up and running. Just open this URL, HTTP localhost 8080. This is my Jenkins. Okay, let's uh, go to here, Jenkins. See, I will show you, I have uh, created some login. See, you just enter, it's localhost 8080. First of all, it will give you some instructions to enter. After that, it will give you the, what are the plugins you want to install, just install default plugins. Then it will give you the one dashboard screen. So this one I have created username password through the Jenkins. Okay. So after that, just uh, it will display like this dashboard, new item, people. So from people you can add. Okay. You, I have added. So that's why it is giving the username password admin access. It will give you this. This will not there. Just you need to add this plugin. Okay. It will give you it here. It will show empty. This is not. So I'm, I have added. Okay. Right. And uh, what is the next step? Open Jenkins. Okay, download JMeter plugin. We are running JMeter test plan, right? Just create one uh, JMeter uh, test plan. And uh, let me show you the JMeter, my JMeter test plan. Yesterday we have discussed, right? What we have discussed yesterday? We have discussed about how to run, sorry, how to pass your CSC file test iterations data whether it could be a pass or fail through the help of bean shell post processor in my previous video we have lesson we have learned that one okay just uh, let me open the same jmx file it is open see it is giving csv data set bean shell post processor and virtual user 6 and it will run ramp up period is 2 the low code is 10 times, mean 10 into 6, into 60 times it will run. So same thing, instead of running from here, same thing I want to run from Jenkins. Okay. Now what you have to do, just go to here, hit, you know, just download, this Jenkins, sorry, JMeter plugin from this URL, performance plugin URL, this is Jenkins, CIORG. Just go to here, sorry, go to here. Yes, you have to click on this plugins. See plugins, right? Plugins and uh, let me browse. Browse, find the plugin. What we have to find the plugin? JMeter. We have to find the JMeter. Just enter JMeter. Just enter JMeter and click on search. It will give you this one performance plugins, right? Just open this one. It will give you the every details. See, one version J meter J unit. Okay, just reports everything you need to download. Okay, find the plugins, everything it will give you. J meter here you have to visit J meter wiki plugin. This page. Okay, this is a page. From there you can download archives. Okay, once a zip unzip, you will find this performance.hpi file. 
performance.hpf file this plan this file you need to install sorry you need to paste into jenkins plugins folder okay let me show you so where is it actually workspace okay performance plugin let's go to jenkins this jenkins plugins under this plugins you have to copy paste okay performance so number of this is performance hpi file you have to copy into jmit jenkins okay jenkins plugins page okay so then restart your jenkins once jenkins is restart follow below step okay before after restarting jenkins you just need to click on this new item click on new item enter name of the new item name and click on freestyle file okay yes i am giving jmeter jmeter performance testing just click on freestyle project okay click on okay once you have to verify that whether the performance.hp jmeter file it is installed successfully or not after restarting your jenkins just go to here you will see performance publish performance test result report okay so this one is okay now know what we have what you have to do means so before doing this one you have to do one more thing that is you need to add jmeter.save.saveservice.output underscore format xml line into user.properties file so let me go to here jmeter bin this user.properties file right click and edit with notepad plus plus or notepad just paste down see i have added this format this is a def up to here it is a default this you have to enter output underscore format equal to xml what it means means jmeter jenkins will run your xml files okay through the command line i am running okay so for this one you have to save that particular test dot particular xml file that is a result result file will be saved under xml format so that's why we are giving this command okay this is a command output underscore format equal to xml just save and close okay restart your uh, jmeter uh, bat file okay once everything is fine just come to here what i have created new item is i have created right performance testing already i have created i will show you leave the page this one i have created so, okay leave this one i have show you this go to here just click on this drop down just click on configure okay here just i have given the another name okay jmeter same same window is open okay this one you have to just give any description nothing not required okay and uh, you don't need to select anything this source code management is none so we are not taking anything from so from this build in under this build you have to select execute windows batch command through the command prompt we need to execute the script and we have to save that test dot the test result into dot jtl file okay so what what is the command actually this is a jmeter dot bat file command this is the path of your jmeter dot bat file okay where it is located in under my bin folder under my path under jmeter 3.0 path underscore slash bin slash jmeter dot bat file so at the time you have to enter this code bat space iphon j again you need to use this xml what are the xml i have used this one xml this line you have to paste here output format equal to xml space minus n space minus t so what is this uh, path it is indicate it is indicates the jmx file path what is where is my jmx file jmx file is under here sorry just click on cancel this is my jmx file i want to run this is a path this path you need to mention here iphone l this is l 
so what is the test result folder you want to save you can give any name i have given test.jtl file so jtl file will be saved under workspace of jenkins workspace it will save i will show you the jenkins workspace okay it will show you okay jenkins right now it will save under workspace see program files this you have to go to jenkins it will show you i will show you where it will this is the default workspace it will show you okay this one we will discuss afterwards this click on save after entering this one this click on save okay i will show you the where is the workspace it is exactly located this you need to go to jmeter dot log file it will show java application apache okay this is the log previously i have run it will show you the workspace see program file jenkins workspace jmeter this is my workspace this is all default it will create it okay so why because we don't have any access to create from configure project from project configuration you don't have any workspace to create jenkins automatically create your workspace okay after entering this command i have created in it will automatically generate test.jtl file will be automatically generate okay after entering this command just click on save okay so this one we will discuss afterwards okay and uh, this is everything is run everything is uh, edited and uh, we have con configured every files okay every details this is the last okay click on save button now what you have to do just click on build now project so just close this one no need of closing also you have to close just click on build now see it is starting the running your build i have given six virtual users load count is a 10 total 60 it will run okay once it got run see it has run right after running if you want to see console output just go to here click on drop down console output it will give you the details building in workspace this is a workspace where it is building okay started started by username it will display this is a temp bat file that is running xml format we have run this run right okay jmx file test.jtl file jmeter log writing log file to jmeter dot log okay this is a day it is giving this is a summary report it is giving okay passing jmeter report file into jmeter dot test.jtl finish this is a success file it is showing okay just uh, if you want to see plain text instead of is there like this just click on this view as plain text it will give, give you the details okay and uh, you can click on this status it will uh, give you the details so here nothing is displayed no changes given the changes you could click on this no changes okay just go to console so and uh, you have to go to workspace right jenkins workspace workspace jmeter c this is a jtl file it is will be saved in under xml files format this xml file format it has saved see everything it is given response session false response session okay it everything it will give you so okay. these are response code is 200 response message is okay so everything is fine and uh, if you want to see the report i will uh, give you this details how to see this reports okay just uh, go to project back to project okay and uh, just go to back to dashboard this one only right just you have to click on this configure just go to here post build actions right this is a post build actions okay this one you have to configure before running your build okay just click on here you need to click on performance publish publish performance test result report 
then it will give you this window this is a panel where you have to give geometer okay just after that it will comes here see just let me copy so that you can understand if you click on geometer then it, this window will open okay this window will open if you click on geometer why because why we are not uh, saving the geometer csv file means we are saving the test result into test.jtl format that's why i'm not i'm not taking geometer csv i'm just taking geometer if you click on this one this window will open just enter star star backslash star dot jtl file okay this is a jtl file after uh, everything is done let's click on save so my already i have run for build file so let me take you to the changes so this is a performance report this is giving us a, some minor average dif differences average differences in milliseconds okay this is a url what i have if you want to see individual urls individual samples responses okay let's click on this performance testing response time trend for build let's click on this one it will give you each url okay this is the url detail response day time and it is giving the details 23 samples 10 samples so our difference differences medium maximum line number 90 minimum response time in milliseconds so every detail it will give you and uh, from here you can see remaining 23 so this is for manual testing this is for selenium testing if you see you can maximize minimize okay just go back you can uh, you see each and every samples request you can see so each and every sample request you can see average difference difference is 34 in milliseconds here minus 83 in milliseconds okay so like this you can uh, generate performance uh, geometer performance test uh, results as well as graphs and you can run your build okay everything it will give you through the jenkins it is very useful for continuous integration okay you can go to workspace in workspace it will give you geometer.log test.jtl file all files in zip formats okay so thank you thank you for watching my video if you have any doubts please provide me in the form of comments as well as suggestions so that i can answer your questions and uh, please subscribe to my videos so that you will get a more real time examples okay yeah thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my videos and uh, please provide your valuable comments and please provide your likes and please share my videos in uh, different social media so that most of the users can get more knowledge and uh, my videos uh, provide you real time experience knowledge so that most of the users who are beginners they can get uh, more knowledge by this okay thank you thank you for watching my video thank you